Hello and thank you very much for joining me here today. This is Gali Gofarb and today I'm going to be talking about the seven common additives that are put in our foods and that we really want to avoid them and why we should avoid them. So how often do you read the labels of foods that you buy in the grocery store? Not many of us do. But did you know that there are about 6,000 additives that are approved by the FDA for human consumption? And it would be wonderful to believe that the food manufacturers have the consumer's best interest at heart, but that's sadly not often the case. Many companies are, of course, more concerned with their monetary benefit than with our health. And they use many, many additives to make our food look and taste better. But these chemicals really come with a hefty price and that we have to pay as consumers with our health. So here are seven of the most common additives in foods that you really do want to aim to avoid. So the first one is sodium nitrate. It's a salt and an antioxidant which is used uh, to cure processed meats and to prevent the growth of bacteria while also adding the reddish color and the salty flavor to the meat products. It is most common in canned and processed meats and sausages and the research shows that sodium nitrite might be to blame for the higher risk of gastric cancers which are the cause of most cancer death in the United States. Also there are many other studies that have linked a higher intake of nitrites to a higher risk of bladder cancer, breast cancer and colorectal cancer. So watch out for this additive in your ingredients food labels. The second one is sodium benzoate. It is often added to acidic foods such as fruit juices and pickles and certain salad dressings and to carbonated drinks and our body clears the chemical by combining it with glycine to form hippuric acid which is then excreted from our body. But despite being labeled as safe by the FDA, studies show that sodium benzoate can be harmful to our health because when it combines together with vitamin C, which is often found in the same foods, then it is converted into benzene, which is associated with cancer development. A study analyzing the variety of foods found some carbonated drinks had a hundred parts per billion of benzene which is 20 times more than the maximum level set by the Environmental Protection Act. So this is really quite scary, especially if you want to heal from disease or maintain a healthy body. So the third additive is MSG, monosodium glutamate. It is found in many different processed foods and as it's an artificial flavoring, it, it enhances the flavor. It is added to soups, to chips, to fast foods and to many foods in Chinese, Chinese restaurants. It is recognized as safe by the FDA, but there were reports of many adverse reactions. It, it causes heart palpitations, uh, numbness in certain parts of the face in some people, it causes swelling and weakness and uh, nausea, sickness. But MSG also builds up in the brain leading to impaired memory, impaired cognition and motor skills to name a few. Now research also shows that MSG may increase the risk for metabolic syndrome. And a study showed that every one gram increase of MSG intake increases significantly the risk for metabolic syndrome, which is associated with heart disease and with type 2 diabetes. MSG is also added into many different products, including carrageenan derived from seaweed, which is used as a preservative and a thickener in different food products. Now you have this carrageenan in your coffee creamers, in certain ice creams, cottage cheese, almond milk sometimes, and in vegan cheeses. It is believed to impact digestive health negatively. And the research on carrageenan is still limited and more studies are needed to understand the effect, but it is best avoided along with MSG whenever possible. So the next food is trans fats. It is one of the more dangerous substances that you can consume. It is there to enhance the shelf life of food products and a process called hydrogenation makes the trans fats and it's mostly common in processed foods. 
made with partially hydrogenated vegetable oils. Trans fats are associated with so many health diseases, in increased heart disease, diabetes, and so much more. And due to these harmful effects of these trans fats, they have really come down in recent years. You will uh, find them less often in, in processed foods, but they are still found in fast foods and baked goods, chips and crackers, and in margarine, of course, and are naturally found not as additives in animal products. So if you care for your body, it's best to avoid trans fats. Now the next foods are BHA and BHT. They are used as preservatives in foods like uh, vegetable oils, candy, uh, sausages, potato chips, chewing gum even, and certain cereals. You will see them on the ingredients label. They keep food from becoming rancid and changing color. And when taken in more than the recommended daily dose, they have been found to promote tumors and have a negative effect on liver and kidney tissues. Now the next food additive that you really want to avoid is aspartame. It is a neurotoxin and a carcinogen. It is known to decay brain function and impair short-term memory. Aspartame is associated with brain tumors, with diabetes, with Alzheimer's, chronic fatigue syndrome, emotional disorders, depression, and so much more. Anxiety attacks as well. And it is not really not so sweet. So this sweetener is found in most sugar-free foods. Check the ingredients label. It is also found in toothpaste. So read the labels. I recommend drinking natural water with a dash of lemon or a herbal tea blend instead. If you want to drink any sort of dietary drink, those are definitely the best. Um, I also recommend looking out for uh, toothpaste that are natural toothpaste, such as those that come from the Waleda company, the German company, especially for children as well. Now the last food that additive that you want to avoid is high fructose corn syrup. Now this is a cheap, highly refined artificial sweetener. We all know that we should be avoiding it. Well, I hope so. The, uh, the, it is mainly uh, found in sweetened beverages and these beverages, including all soft drinks, are identified as the primary source of unnatural sugars in our diets. It leads to weight gain, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and metabolic syndrome, and many more. And research shows that a high fructose corn syrup promotes insulin resistance and raises liver fat and raises bad cholesterol and causes even cancer cells to metastasize. But that's not the whole story. It is mostly, high fructose corn syrup is mostly made from genetically modified corn. Uh, which is known to cause inflammation and research, recent studies has on rats have found it to cause serious damage to the surface mucous mem membranes of our small intestine. Another previous study showed that GMO corn leads to degeneration of liver cells, congestion of blood vessels in the kidneys and death of the intestinal villi and also to harm male fertility not a very good thing that you do not want to put in your body or in your children's body. So to summarize, all seven of these food add additives are used to help manufacturers with the packaging and processing and long-term long storage of these foods, but they're not beneficial in any way to our health. So if you or your children regularly consume processed snacks, beware of these additives. You do not want them in your food. My advice is, of course, to avoid processed foods as much as you can. Replace processed grains, which are white flour or white rice, with whole grains. Avoid canned and boxed foods. Check the labels. Don't buy foods with unclear label readings that you really don't understand. Instead, focus on consuming fruits, dried fruits, plain nuts, seeds, or vegetable sticks as snacks. These are the most filling, nutritious, and healthy snacks and they support a healthy lean body so i hope you like the content today give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel or visit my website for more health information and nutrition information at www.thegorilladiet.com thank you very much